Also tonight, President Biden and his Chinese counterpart are set to meet for the first time in a year this week. And as Janice Mackey Freyer reports, the economic stakes couldn't be higher. With youth unemployment high in China, Lin Jiaxi is choosing the best work he can find these days. At home, the 24-year-old among a growing number of young adults getting paid by their parents to be a full-time child, a label that's trending. And for Lin means doing chores like driving his mother or helping at the family's factory until he can find a job. I'm glad I have stability, he says. For now, it's not bad. Shoring up China's economic ties is why Chinese President Xi Jinping is paying his first visit to the U.S. in six years. China needs it. The economy slowing down and hurting. Foreign investment in China turning negative for the first time with $11.8 billion flowing out. A property crisis pushing local government debt to $9 trillion. And when the youth unemployment rate hit 21.3 percent in June, the government stopped releasing numbers altogether. And the business focus and the win-win cooperation, to me, is like low-hanging fruit. You know, by the end of the day, both nations, we need to cooperate, we need to do the business. The U.S. is China's number one trading partner, to the tune of $758 billion. But there is also tension and mistrust about managing China's rivalry with the U.S. that has deepened under Xi's rule, from China's close ties with Vladimir Putin to confrontations over tariffs, the spy balloon crisis, the South China Sea and Taiwan. I think we've made some progress in reconnecting the two governments and establishing these leadership channels, which we didn't have, frankly, a year ago. One thing that can't be overstated is that when Xi Jinping arrives here in San Francisco, optics are of the utmost importance to show these two powerful leaders are at least talking. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.